In the 1700s, some of the most unpopular laws were those concerning poaching. Only landowners whose land was worth £100 a year could hunt and they could hunt anywhere. Other landowners with land worth less than £100 could not even hunt on their own land. In 1723, the Waltham Blackhack made hunting deer, hare or rabbits a capital crime punishable by death. Anyone found armed, disguised or with a blackened face in any hunting area was assumed to be poaching and could also be executed. Possessing dogs or snares that could be used for hunting was punishable by a £5 fine or three months in prison. Critics of these laws believed they were simply there to protect the interests of rich landowners. For many, poaching had been a custom of the manors that they and their fathers had followed for many years, long before the landowners had acquired the land in the 16th century. These new laws meant that gamekeepers were armed with the law and were attracted by rewards to capture the poachers. As a result, the poachers sometimes resorted to violence. Communities stuck together to allow suspects to escape. Some people, however, seeking to claim a reward, revealed the names of the poachers. Most poachers were very poor, and for some, hunting had a great economic importance. Instead of being just a supplement to an ill-paid or irregular job, poaching became a trade itself. Any country innkeeper could supply almost any quantity of game, and the station wagoners acted as agents for the city buyers. The majority of men in rural England thought that the game laws were a great injustice. One writer commented that every magistrate knows that it is very hard that he should be punished for taking what he had as good a right to as any man.